You nailed him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Secret spot, right? Hunting desert muleys. Yeah. Hunting desert muleys. Customer brought in a nice 180, 190 inch mule deer to Dallas to mount up. And he shot it opening day, right? Uh, yeah. Yep, opening day, and it was, it's a toad. It's a toad. I mean, come on. Look how nice, look how respectful people park at a Circle K. You know? Nobody's dumpster diving. They got their dumpsters locked up. Circle K all the way. And Dallas and Ryan, they've been putting in all the work. I've been working at work. They've been putting in all the work to find these big deer and they got on them. So we're gonna see if we can't get Ryan a nice deer and uh, get it on film. I don't even care, if, I just want him on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> You're not pulling the trigger unless if I'm rolling on the camera. No, that, that, that doesn't work with me. It man. doesn't work? No. We can take a video afterwards. <laughs> All right. We're heading out. We'll see you out there. stumbled across some ducks and we're gonna see if we can't get it on camera here and they're teal I think huh I think so I think they're teal so we're gonna see if we can't blast some ducks on our way out to go freaking deer hunting man yeah <laughs> all right so let's we'll just walk this no 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 don't even oh no come on come down this oh, okay he knows he knows what he's I don't know what I'm doing this is a nice productive spot we've been here before Take a knee, take a knee. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, how rednecks get their ducks back. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't walked in this water before, it stinks. Oh, he had it. Oh, dang it. So I got this death grip tripod here for holding your gun. It's great, I can tighten this right here. It keeps, as you can see, I have no hands. It's locked up. All I gotta do is get behind it uh, because the 6.5 doesn't have hardly any kick on it at all. I'm just basically snugging it against my shoulders. Boom, it does wonders. I got it locked for the tension that I want to left, right, up and down. And so I just kind of ease like this, up and down and just put it there. No more worrying about the shaking and stuff like that, getting a bad shot, so it's good stuff. We've taken uh, two mule deer a couple of nights ago and my wife took an antelope with it this year. Um, you gotta be set up. It's not like something you can run a gun going through the woods, but if you can get it in a nice spot, this uh, death grip is definitely worth its money. But last night we we got on some we saw uh, a few does and then uh, right after dark we uh, did some scouting around uh, and we seen some deer out in the field and we was hoping they'd be back in the morning and uh, so that's uh, kind of where we're at right now it's just you know 
staying patient and making sure that we can uh, be in the right place at the right time. <laughs> well, I got a uh, nice little three by three. It's uh, oh, probably like on day, what is it, five, six? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like day five or six, and so I only have a few days left. So, seen some nice bucks, but uh, they've gone nocturnal. There's a full moon out, and so it was. I was lucky enough this one was in the field right at daybreak, heading, getting ready to go out of the field. And as soon as I had legal shooting, I mean, as soon as it hit, I was on it. So, uh, one shot, uh, not even for sure how far he was. Maybe 75? Yeah, I'd say 100. 100 yards, maybe. And, yeah. Uh, all he gave me was a straight on shot, so I put it right there, and the rest is history. <laughs> let's go check him let's out. Let's go check him out. I got my uh, third muley, my third mule deer. Uh, like I said, you know, I say it all the time, he's not the biggest, but you know what, he's mine and I'm proud of it. Uh, it's been a, a tough hunt. We've seen some nice, nice deer, but I just thought I'd go ahead and take this one and uh, getting towards the end of the week. So I'm excited to have my son-in-law with me, Albert, help me out, um, get set up on him and this is, been a lot of fun it's been a hard week getting up every day at 3 30 4 o'clock and driving in and out of town and and so uh, uh, I'm happy I'm happy it's it's really cool third third mule deer I've ever taken and so uh, I think I'm well, three out of the last four years or three out of the last three years I've I've shot bucks so pretty happy about it so I'm excited Well, it was kind of a crazy morning. Uh, I can't believe it happened. These deer are, uh, this is a draw tag right here. You gotta get drawn for this tag. This is public land here in Arizona. This is a desert mule deer. And I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, look at that thing. This is a decent buck. I mean, most people get all, you know, like, oh, he's small, he ain't that big, he ain't that mature, all that, whatever, man, whatever. Whatever to you. This is awesome, you know? This is what we come out here to do. Get to see the sunrise while we've got mule deer in our hands. So, we prayed, we prayed right before. We saw these deer and then we're like, oh man, we gotta pray, we totally forgot to pray. And we prayed and every time we pray, we end up coming back with something. Even, even if we, I miss, you know, miss my deer three, four times still come through we had a couple of times where we they put the slip on us but hey this is what it's about <laughs> excited this is it's a big awesome. deer he's big body he's big body deer big body deer it's gonna suck dragging him out <laughs> <laughs> but we're good, gonna though. drag him out of this field uh you don't want to gut them in these farmers fields because it doesn't bode well with them so we're gonna drag him to the road gut him off on the side of the road out of his field and you gotta pay courtesy to the farmers. Yeah. They provide us with public land, 95% of it here in Arizona. So you gotta be courteous to them and make sure you don't dirty their field up. And they love it when you take deer because it quit they quit eating their fields. They love it when you take a deer. So this one's for you farmers. <laughs> Sweet man. It's awesome an awesome job. deer.
the eye guards. Those are one inches. Those are inch and a half eye guards right there at least. I mean, those are gnarly. Those are nice eye guards. Oh, like that's a good pick right there. Dude, it's such good scenery. You got this lush green grass and then you've got that Arizona sky in the background. That's what it's all about right there, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I'd be freaking pumped if I shot this thing. I'd be freaking jacked. I mean, you are jacked. Oh, yeah. But dude, that's a freaking... I'd mount this one up. I'd mount it up if I was you. I tell Dallas, you get to work on that. Stat. I'm getting older. I just to the point where I'm excited about taking animals, harvesting a nice buck. So that's what's important to me. Yes, sir. That's good. When you're going to get your um, deer mounted, um, there's some things a lot of guys will screw up and mess up on. And here's one of the things you want to do. Like even here, probably right here to the hard plate near the brisket is where I'd normally stop. I would cut up a little higher here. But make sure you keep plenty of room right here because when you think about your shoulder mount, you want plenty of your room for the brisket. You don't want your taxidermist to have to be sewing this up because if, if, especially if he's not a good taxidermist, this might show on the front of your mount. The other thing is too is always remember this more is better more is better don't don't try to cut it in pieces and think your taxidermist is going to go and sew the thing up i know a lot of taxidermists will just tell you can't do it just take it out of here it's maybe not that they couldn't do it but it's too much of a pain in the butt and they're going to charge you a lot more i know if i was a taxidermist i would the other thing is too is maybe come back about halfway to the belly sometimes i'll even go further back just to make sure it all depends on where you're doing what kind of mount you're going to do, whether it's a pedestal, whether it's a, a shoulder mount or a side shot or whatever, the further the back, the better it is. That's it. We're on our way back. I mean, that was awesome. I can't believe you shot it. I can't believe you shot it. We were we were in the truck and we were looking at it because it was so dark out that you can't you can't get out or anything. We were just sitting there. We could see him through our binoculars, and it was just hard to tell if he was a big buck or not. And I was like, as the sun started coming up and it started getting lighter and lighter out, I was like, I don't know, Ryan. He seems pretty nice. And he's like, I think I'm gonna pass on him. I think I'm gonna pass. And then he's like got lighter and lighter he's like yeah I'm gonna shoot that buck I'm gonna shoot that buck <laughs> and uh, and I'm glad he did I'm glad he shot it because that that's a nice quality buck especially for around here especially for but we've been seeing bigger ones we've been seeing bigger ones than that yeah, but hey I'm stoked for Ryan I'm pretty pumped Pretty pumped. Yeah, like I said, he's he's the sound may not be a trophy, but to me he's a trophy. It's been a hard hunt, so I'm glad I I'm glad I took him. Now I can focus on getting my daughter one and getting my uh, wife one as well. So well, I'm pretty happy. We got to harvest a buck. That's what we got to do. Got to harvest a buck on Harvest Land TV. So that's awesome. I just that just gives me so much more motivation for the rest of my week of work. Like, <laughs> like I'm motivated now. Now I can go back to where I've been. I'm just like, yeah, you know. Like I'm I'm happy. I'm happy now, you know. And I didn't even shoot it. That's I like fun. filming things though. I like filming. I just like being there. Like Dallas when he was out there hunting with me on the deer that we got or that I shot. You know, he's like just being there alone and getting it on film and doing it. It felt like I was hunting, he said, you know? It felt like he was hunting with me, you know? And that's kind of how I felt. I was just like, I was just stoked to get you, or to see you get to shoot it like that. 
So a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Yeah, good hunt. That's all that we're gonna have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscription button, hit that like, drop a comment below on what you think about this video, and be blessed.